하나님의 큰 전도 방법, 숨은 방법이 세 가지가 있습니다. There are three God's great and also hidden methods of evangelism. 물으면 안 되겠죠. There are three strategies. You must know this. 크게 전도하시는 숨은 방법 세 가지. There are three hidden methods for God to carry out this great evangelism. 그 중에 하나가 그 다음 건 다음 주에 했고요. 그 중에 하나가 One of which is the rest I will share with you next week. It is untacked evangelism. 하나님의 방법 세 가지가 있는데 그 중에 하나가 비대면 전도예요. There are three methods of God, and one of which is untacked evangelism. What is the reason? 세 가지 이유가 있습니다. There are three reasons. 아 그래야만 이삼칠 가능한. Only then can we contact the 237 nations. How can we face or contact 237 in person? Only through this contact method, reaching out to the 237 nations is possible. Because God said this. All nations shall be blessed through your seed. We came up with this term as a standardized term so that we can uh, express the, all the nations. In fact, there are actually more nations. Out of the 237 nations, the 229 uh, nations have Coca-Cola and soccer introduced to those countries. The second is that only the con un untacked businesses can survive. It means the same because only those businesses that can be in a contact method can reach out to the 237 nations, thereby they can survive. So, as an example, so the upcoming, the fourth industrial revolution businesses are the untacked businesses. Otherwise, uh, all the other rest businesses will uh, fall down. What's more important is the third. Untacked business and strategies existed from the beginning, originally. And it will be affirmed even further in the future. And for you to carry out China evangelization, you cannot avoid, you cannot reject it. You have to do untacked method. And all of you, at least those of you who are seated here, open up your spiritual eyes and in connection with that quarter, how can you carry out this untag evangelism? That's what you must think about. And remnants, you also need to know only the businesses that are untagged way can survive. You must remember. I'm sharing this for the remnants to know. Why don't you go to a mall or department store? When you go to these luxury brand stores, you will see bags and watches. As you saw it during the RTC news, all these luxury brand watches, they're all made in Switzerland. And 
So, in fact, the most well-made watch brand is Patek Philippe. How well is it made? So, there are these department stores that uh, do have Patek Philippe store. So, if there is one, go there. Once you go, you will be greatly surprised. Because they don't have a single watch in the store. Because it's already sold off in an uncontact way. But they do accept the wait list. They accept your offer to purchase it, purchase orders. And you'll be on the wait list, and you'll be about on the 1,000th wait list. Which means in order to purchase the watch that you want, you have to wait several years. Why am I telling you this? The way that people conduct business in Korea is just so barbaric. How well do they make their product to the point where people just can trust? And the people who are uh, picking up the watches now uh, have ordered it a few years ago, but still they don't make any more. Because their brand, they only manu- make 60,000 watches. And, and that, those watches are distributed throughout the world. And also a well-known brand for watches is Rolex. Do you know how many they make a year? They make 600,000, which is 10 times more of Patek Philip. That's why Patek Philip is laughing at them. Oh, okay, that's how you do your business. So ultimately, do you know who's going to win? The one who's making 60000 So it's not such a high-end luxury brand with so much content in an uncontact way. So open up your eyes and see this carefully. So let's look at the untacked evangelism uh, in the age of Egypt. Joseph. He did untacked evangelism. Moses. Joshua, Caleb, and Rahab. These are the representative figures of Exodus, Egypt. Joseph, he already had the covenant of world evangelization. If it's shown to you through a dream in your vision, then surely you will hold on to that covenant. That is why he went as a slave. That is why he went to the prison. And that's how he became the governor. So it all sounds like an, a dream-like story, but in an uncontact evangelism concept, it really makes sense. He was sent as a slave. However, he was in a household of a great power so that he could be connected to many people. And he went to a prison. He went to a place of uh, these you know, cabinet members of the government officials who can communicate with King Pharaoh. And at the time, an incident broke out. And he became the governor, and he sold grain to the rest of the world. Isn't that amazing? This is the untacked 
method. 눈을 잘 떠셔야 돼요. 지금 하나님 깨닫게 하라고 지금 코로나 좀 길게 주신 거예요. Open up your eyes. The reason why God is allowing, permitting this pandemic is for you to realize. 하나님 깨달으니까. 반죽이야 깨달으니까 그럴 수밖에 없죠. And only when you are put half to death, then you can barely understand and realize. And so that's the reason why. Look at Moses. Simply put, ten miracles arose. Ten miracles. And the news spread to the entire world. As you know, Nile River, do you know from where to where that it flows? The news spread to the entire world. On top of that, they came out of Egypt and they crossed the Red Sea. Scientists, they assert that once in a while that the Red Sea can split, but in anyhow, they did cross the Red Sea. And this one scientist uh, provided some kind of evidence that, that the Red Sea did split uh, hundreds of years ago once. And he somehow provided that record. Not during the time of Moses, but prior to that incident. If that is true, then isn't it more amazing that when that perfect timing that God led Israelites out of Egypt. But actually, it has nothing to do with that record. Look at God's goal. Because through this incident of the Red Sea, God spread the news to the entire world. And also, you may think of this lightly, but it is a tabernacle. This tabernacle is such a precious thing that gives a message to the entire world. Don't you see that centered on the tabernacle during the 40 years in the wilderness, everything was done. Starting with this powerful nation, Egypt, all the way to Canaan land, all the process, it was all connected to the tabernacle and world evangelization. And through that, do you know what happened? They crossed the Jordan River. And also, the Jericho Wall collapsed. It's all globalization. And the answer of stopping the sun and the moon is unprecedented, never repeated answer. And especially at the incident of Jericho, you see Rahab. That was the case. What do you think? And for a business to survive, it has to be in an untapped method. And for you to do a real evangelism, it has to be untapped evangelism. In all, uh, all aspects, it has to be in an untapped way. Only when you can have provide a better medical treatment in an untapped way, that doctor can flourish in his business. Which means that all of you who are workers for evangelism of China, you must put your heads together how you can carry out this untacked evangelism of China. It's better for you to do it right now. It's better for many of you to gather together to do it because ultimately it has to be done. And whoever you are, it has to be done. That's why someone who can do 24 hours of this can do it. Evangelists, all the workers in China, as well as the disciples in China, you must put your hearts together and pray 24 hours. So what you need to uh, pay attention is that your personal problem um, that is the start of the untacked evangelism. 
So in reality, you have a lot of hardships. That is the uh, absolute condition for ONTACT method. And you see many conflicts. That is a very specific renewal towards ONTACT evangelism. You must remember. And if you know it, you will not be afraid of incidents breaking out. And you will not try to fix things that appear to be wrong. And because the fact that you are nitpicking over things that appear to be wrong means that you're only looking at it in a microscopic view. And you will not see suffering as suffering. Right? Because in an untact evangelism, ultimately we want to save everyone. That's why we don't see suffering as suffering. So a good coach or director, uh, as a coach for uh, soccer, you must be a good person to see all people. If you just see the person, oh, okay, you're good, then you will lose. Isn't that the case? So the opponent is really good athlete. What are you going to do? You have to think that, oh, okay, you want to pick up a fight. You just need to give some time. If the director of that soccer team is, is, is you know, putting pressure on the players because of he's sensing that opponent is doing well, then you are really putting your athletes down. And do, didn't you see the soccer game between Korea and Iran? A Korean a director, he did very well. However, um, these commentators of the soccer match, he really, they really didn't have good didn't have a good job. In other words, you must realize how important all these invisible systems that are unseen to our eyes. So in other words, that when somebody does something wrong, that you shouldn't be so startled by it. In other words, when you're playing a, a Chinese chess, so somebody gives a, a really strong force, then you need to pay attention to it. So you need to know the very first strategy for world evangelization is untacked evangelism. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. Thank you so much for your guidance that we can follow your word and follow the answers to our prayers. First and foremost, would you give your power to all these scattered disciples? In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.